collect data for future landings of Chang'e 3 and Chang'e 4 and provide a high-resolution photograph of the landing area. Chang'e 2 was built obviously as a backup and alternative to Chang'e 1, which was launched in October 2007 and maintained a 16-month lunar orbit back then. The series of the Chang'e probes are named, we know, after a legendary Chinese moon goddess, Chang'e. Well, now let's go to our reporter Shen Jing, who has been covering from the observatory here in Beijing. Shen Jing, what can you tell us about the work in the observatory? Are they going to collect data anytime soon? Hello, Zhou Yuan. Now we can see the big screen show the live picture of the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. But the system here will start working tomorrow to receive the first data sent back from the space probe. But the engineers tell me that uh, the, uh, all the observatories here are working well in tracking the satellite. Uh, but the probe is 380,000 kilometers away. So how can the data be sent back to the center? Uh, from so far away and how can the data be transmitted uh, safely now here with me to talk about this is Wang Xiaodong the team member of the ground research and application system here okay well the data is coded and then transmitted from the spacecraft to the ground and because the moon is very far away so we have to use a very big dish antennae to receive the signals. After the acquisition of the data, they are transmitted to our center here by uh, uh, optical fibers. And uh, in order to keep the integrity and correctness of the data, we first uh, use a robust way to code the data for radio transmission. And then we use two ground stations to receive the signals individually. And three, we're, in every step in our workflow, we have a hard backup for our hardware and software system. So uh, this is why we're confident. And uh, could you tell us uh, what improvements have there been to the system here for Chang'e 2? Well, uh, we have improved uh, the, our ability to uh, acquire the data by updating the download, uh, download uh, bandwidth in order to uh, cope with the uh, large amount of data. And we have improved the ability to manage the, the data by improving the um, management system for the instrument and software and hardware system and enlarging the capacity of our storage devices. And uh, we have improved the ability to uh, process the data by uh, updating the hardware system and the uh, processing algorithms. And uh, we are going to improve the uh, in-depth application of the data and uh, try to do more research with the data. Wang Xiaodong, thank you. And uh, it sounds like these improvements will help us to get more information from the moon mission. Back to you. And Chen Jing, could you please tell us what part of the research and observations will be conducted at the National Observatory there? Uh, yes, this place will be very busy in the next few days and uh, the staff here will work 24 hours every day in the next six months and uh, uh, they will process the data sent down from the space probe and they will also uh, produce the high resolution images on the moon surface and they will also analyze the composition of the minerals of the moon. Uh, they will also uh, test uh, the, uh, how uh, thick and uh, rough of the soil is so that uh, we can uh, know how, what is the surface like. So we can expect there will be a lot of research in the coming days. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Shen Jing, for your reporting from the National Observatory. And now let's get back to the control center, which is the Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center, and get to our reporter Han Bin, who has been covering over there. Good evening, Han Bin. Hi, Zhou Yue. Well, congratulations to all the people who have been working there. You have had a wonderful liftoff and a, success, a successful launch. You've been covering a lot of missions in that center. So you've talked to many of the scientists and uh, engineers in that place. What have you learned from the process? Well, it's quite a unique experience experience that leaves me many of the deep impressions. Well, during the past two weeks, I've interviewed a couple of people, and I get a close-up look of China's space industry, and especially the lunar project. 
And uh, there are several impressions. Firstly, is the growing number of young people taking part into the project. For example, when I research the satellite、uh, system,、uh, there are over 40 percent of the people,、uh, young people in their 30s, and many of them are taking a very important position, like the chief designers, deputy chief designers of the sub、uh, systems, and this. Generational transformation、uh, may inject new vitality to China's lunar project and the space industry. The second impression is that the acceleration of China's space programs. For example, when I was in Xichang, they told me years ago、uh, they launched the satellite、uh, a year only once or twice, but now they have ten. And China is stepping up its efforts for its deep space exploration, and is building a、uh, more powerful launching site in the、uh, in the south, and also、uh, is aiming to build the、uh, space stations in the future. And this is to shorten the distance and expand its capabilities. And third thing is that.、Um, There is a growing openness for China's space program, the transparency and the objective attitude towards this program. And the people I interviewed,、uh, they are very frankly to talk to me, and、uh, they treat it as a kind of、uh, experiments and uh, knowledge uh, instead of a kind of a national secret.、Uh, they are very、uh, acknowledgeable to the gap between China and the rest of. The world and give us the the general picture and the balanced picture of the real situation here. And though all those helped me great deal for me to finish the real reports. So yeah. Well, I cannot agree with you more. There's a, a, a group of young and talented and dedicated people behind China's space program. Just we have in the studio, Mr. Peng and Mr. Chen,、uh, who have been making a lot of contributions to the success. And also, I know it is a tough job, but also an interesting job to have interviewed many people in the space command center. What impressed you the most during your coverage of the program? It's the people, because. Over the past two weeks, I've interviewed dozens of people. Not only those high-ranking officials, the senior scientists and designers, commanders who are making the decisions, but also those the common people who make the part of the project complete. And when you get into their world, is often a touching one.、Uh, some of them are sacrificing their moon festival.、Uh, that is the time when most of the Chinese people have the family、mm. gatherings, reunions with the family members. Some of them are staying in the mountainous areas for a long time, or working in the danger and high pressure conditions、uh, to finish the jobs on time.、Um, They have put their feelings、uh, into the job and the project, and、uh, their work is often not being highlighted when the mission is being completed. But what I think is that people heroes because they are the base to hold China's satellite and rocket deep into space. I think we have to pay the tribute to them. Back to you, Zhou Yue. Well, thank you indeed, Hanbing, for reporting over there. Like everything else, this is a hugely teamwork. Well, the second phase of China's lunar project, the Chang'e 2 satellite, is set to go at the Xichang、uh, Launch Center. It has successfully、uh, done its,、uh, its liftoff, and our reporter Hanbing has been there for a close-up look before it lifts off. He has an exclusive interview with, with the director of the Launch Service Support, one of the first to welcome the satellite, and also, obviously, it is the last to see it off. Hidden in the mountains of Sichuan Province in southwestern China, lunar orbiter Chang'e 2 awaits its mission. Zhang Gang is the director of the launch service support. <laughs> For Zhang, it's like coming home every time he enters the number two launch tower. It now holds the Long March 3C rocket and the satellite. The number two launch tower.